Chapter 15 The Traditions of the Elders One then came to Jesus' scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Two, why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? The traditions of the elders were interpretations of the law, not the law itself. Mark 7 verses 1 to 13 KJV Then came together unto him the Pharisees, and certain of the scribes, which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defiled, that is to say, with unwashen, hands, they found fault. For the Pharisees, and all the Jews, except they wash their hands oft, eat not, holding the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not. And many other things there be, which they have received to hold, as the washing of cups, and pots, brass and vessels, and of tables. Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands? He answered and said unto them, While well, hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the tradition of men, as the washing of pots and cups, and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. For Moses said, Honor thy father and thy mother, and, Whoso curseth father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, If a man shall say to his father or mother, It is korban, that is to say, a gift, by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, he shall be free. And ye suffer him no more to do aught for his father or his mother, making the word of God of none effect through your tradition, which ye have delivered, and many such like things do ye. 3. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? For for God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that curseth father or mother, let him die the death. Exodus 20 verse 12 KJV Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? The disciples were not transgressing the commandments of God. 5 But ye say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, six in honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Exodus 20 verse 12 KJV Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. He shall be free, the elders said you are free from the responsibility of following the law of God if you will let the elders profit from you instead of your parents. 7 Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, Eight this people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. 9 But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Isaiah 29 verse 13 KJV Wherefore the Lord said, Forasmuch as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. 10 And he called the multitude, and said unto them, Hear, and understand, eleven not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. Not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, a man was not spiritually unclean because he ate something before washing his hands. But that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man, the words of the elders that were spoken to Israel that negate the commandments of God defiled the elders who spoke to them. Twelve then came his disciples, and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended, after they heard this saying? 13 But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. 14 Let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. 
Every plant which my Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Every person who is not God's will be taken away, rooted up, and cast into the fire. Exodus 15 verse 17 KJV Thou shalt bring them in, and plant them in the mountain of thine inheritance, in the place, O Lord, which thou hast made for thee to dwell in, in the sanctuary, O Lord, which thy hands have established. 2 Samuel 7 verse 10 KJV Moreover I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, that they may dwell in a place of their own, and move no more, neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more, as before time. 1 Chronicles 17 verse 9 KJV Also I will ordain a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, and they shall dwell in their place, and shall be moved no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness waste them any more, as at the beginning, Isaiah 5 verse 7 KJV. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah his pleasant plant, and he looked for judgment, but behold oppression, for righteousness, but behold a cry. 15 Then answered Peter and said unto him, Declare unto us this parable. 16 And Jesus said, Are ye also yet without understanding? Declare unto us this parable. The parable was the words found in verse 13 above. Plants come from seeds, and the doctrines, seeds, of men had crept into the pure meaning of the word of God. Jesus was there doing a little gardening. 17 Do not ye yet understand, that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly, and is cast out into the draught? 18 But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. 19 For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. 20 These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man, a woman of Canaan. 21 Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coasts of Tyre and Sidon. 22 And, behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coasts, and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. A woman of Canaan, the Canaanites were the people that God dispossessed from the land for their gross immorality. Numbers 33,52-53 KJV Then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you and destroy all their pictures, and destroy all their molten images, and quite pluck down all their high places, and ye shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land, and dwell therein, for I have given you the land to possess it. Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. She recognized Jesus as Lord, and as the son of David, which was another title for Christ, but she also recognized that she was a Gentile and needed mercy from him. 23 But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she creeth after us. 24 But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But he answered her not a word, just like the Samaritans, the Jews had no dealings with the Canaanites. The lost sheep of the house of Israel, this was a reference to their spiritual condition, not to their actual physical location. Jesus wasn't searching for people who didn't know they were Israelites. 25 Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. 26 But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. 27 And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then came she and worshipped him. She showed Jesus she was no ordinary Gentile. She worshipped him as the Messiah of Israel. It is not meet to take the children's bread. The gospel of the kingdom was the bread that would give eternal life to all who believed it. And to cast it to dogs, the Gentiles, dogs, had to wait to receive the word of God until it first went to the children of Israel. Matthew 10 verses 5 to 7 Truth Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Gentiles were referred to as strangers often in scripture. Leviticus 23 verse 22 KJV 
And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not make clean riddance of the corners of thy field when thou reapest, neither shalt thou gather any gleaning of thy harvest. Thou shalt leave them unto the poor, and to the stranger, I am the Lord your God. 28 Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt, because this Gentile woman accepted that salvation was of the Jews, she was able to have her daughter healed. Gentiles will be blessed in the kingdom by the bread, the word of God, that is given to them from the children, Jews. Isaiah 2 verse 3 KJV And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Remember that the kingdom of heaven was at hand at that time, but it was rejected, and now it is postponed until after the dispensation of grace runs its course. You cannot have this kind of prayer answered for you like this today. This prayer is related to God's dealings with the nation of Israel and the Gentiles at that time. 29 And Jesus departed from thence and came nigh unto the Sea of Galilee, and went up into a mountain and sat down there. 30 And great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. 31 Insomuch that the multitude wondered, when they saw the dumb to speak, the maimed to be whole, the lame to walk, and the blind to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Isaiah 53 verses 1 to 14 And went up into a mountain, and the Bible mountains often serve as types of kingdoms. Daniel 2 verses 35 to 45 Jesus healed these people on a mountain to let them know that in the kingdom they will not have any infirmities in their flesh ever again. Leviticus 21 verse 18 forbids anyone from the priesthood who was blind or lame, so Jesus healed all in Israel who hand any illness so they could become priests in their kingdom. The priesthood in the kingdom will not be just Levites. All Jews will be priests in those days, and their ministry will be an eternal one, not just from 30 to 50 years of age as the Levitical priesthood was. 32 Then Jesus called his disciples unto him, and said, I have compassion on the multitude, because they continue with me now three days, and have nothing to eat, and I will not send them away fasting, lest they faint in the way. 33 And his disciples say unto him, When should we have so much bread in the wilderness, as to fill so great a multitude? 34 And Jesus saith unto them, How many loaves have ye? And they said, Seven, and a few little fishes. 35 And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. 36 And he took the seven loaves and the fishes, and gave thanks, and brake them, and gave to his disciples, and the disciples to the multitude. 37 And they did all eat, and were filled, and they took up of the broken meat that was left seven baskets full. 38 And they that did eat were four thousand men, beside women and children. 39 And he sent away the multitude, and took ship, and came into the coasts of Magdala. Seven baskets full, God will provide for his people during the time of Jacob's trouble that lasts for seven years, as he did here, and in Exodus 16. The coasts of Magdala, this was the hometown of Mary Magdalene. Magdalene was not her last name, it identified where she was from. Chapter 16 The Sign of the Prophet Jonas one the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came, and tempting desired him that he would shew them a sign from heaven. Two he answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. Three and, In the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? For a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them and departed. Jonah 1 verse 17 KJV Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. 
And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. The sign of the prophet Jonas, Jesus would be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Matthew 12 verse 40 For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. This wicked generation had the Son of God in their midst to teach them and to heal them, and yet they rejected him. 5. And when his disciples were come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. 6. Then Jesus said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. 7. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. 8. Which when Jesus perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves, because ye have brought no bread? Nine do ye not yet understand, neither remember the five loaves of the five thousand, and how many baskets ye took up. Ten neither the seven loaves of the four thousand, and how many baskets ye took up. Eleven how is it that ye do not understand that I spake it not to you concerning bread, that ye should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees? Twelve then understood they how that he bade them not beware of the leaven of bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. The leaven of the Pharisees, the doctrine of the Pharisees was legalism. They placed the tradition of elders above the word of God. Mark 7 verse 9 and Luke 12 verse 1 say that the leaven of the Pharisees is hypocrisy. And of the Sadducees, the doctrine of the Sadducees was liberalism, they denied the reality of angels, spirit, and of a future resurrection. Acts 23 verse 8 For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, neither angel, not spirit. 13 When Jesus came into the coasts of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I the Son of Man am? 14 And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist some, Elias, and others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. 15 He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? 16 And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. 17 And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. 18 And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. The statement that Peter made was the confession that all of Israel had to believe in Jesus' day to enter into the kingdom. John 8 verse 24 I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Simon was given the names of Peter, a small stone, and of Cephas by Jesus so as to ensure that there would be no controversy that Jesus would build his church on himself, the rock. Peter and the other eleven apostles made up the foundation of the church, and Jesus Christ was the cornerstone of it. I will build my church. Here we have the first mention of the church in the Bible that Christ says he will build in the near future. Notice in the next verse the context of Christ's statement. He is still talking about the kingdom. The word church simply means a called out assembly. There was also a church in the wilderness in the Old Testament which was made up of those called out Egypt and who were assembled in the wilderness. Acts 7 verse 38 KJV This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spake to him in the Mount Sina, and with our fathers, who received the lively oracles to give unto us. 19 And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. 20 Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. The keys of the kingdom of heaven, the keys represent the way of entrance into Israel's kingdom. They were given to Peter and to the other apostles who will one day sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Matthew 19 verse 28 KJV And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. 
power was going to be given to Peter and the eleven during the kingdom to bind and to loose things here on the earth. Christ is talking to twelve literal apostles about a literal physical kingdom where Israel will be the head of it and not the tail. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13 KJV And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. 21 From that time forth began Jesus to shew unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. From that time forth, Matthew here marks a distinct point in Jesus' ministry where he begins to teach his disciples about his death, burial, and resurrection. 22 Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. 23 But he turned, and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan, thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Peter wanted Jesus to be king without him first being the suffering, Savior. The things that be of God, Jesus abruptly expressed the necessity of his going to the cross to dispel any false hopes that there could be some other way. In Luke's Gospel it is recorded that when Christ told his disciples of his pending death and resurrection that they didn't understand what he meant. Then Luke tells us that Jesus deliberately hid those truths from them until after his resurrection when he brought them to their remembrance. Luke 18 verse 24 KJV And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? Luke 24 verse 25 KJV, Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. 24 Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. 25 For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. 26 For what is a man profited, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? 27 For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. 28 Verily I say unto you, There be some standing here, which shall not taste of death, till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. There be some standing here, some of the twelve saw a glimpse of the kingdom six days later, but the rest would die without a glimpse of it except John. The Apostle John, in Revelation 4-19 saw all this come to pass in a vision while on Patmos. Chapter 17 They were exceeding sorry. One and after six days Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up into an high mountain apart, too and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. 3 And, behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. For then answered Peter, and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here, if thou wilt, let us make your three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias. After six days, it was six days since Jesus told the twelve that some of them would not taste of death until they had seen the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Matthew 16 verse 28 Transfigured before them, Peter later mentions that they were eyewitnesses of his majesty. 2 Peter 1 colon 16 18 KJV for we have not followed cunningly devised fables, when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from God the Father honor and glory, when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard, when we were with him in the holy mount. His raiment was white as the light, this we see numerous times in scripture when humans see God or angels that want to be seen. Moses and Elias, the two witnesses that appeared during the tribulation period. Revelation 11 verse 3 KJV 
And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days, clothed in sackcloth. Five while he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold a voice out of the cloud, which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. Six and when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face, and were sore afraid. Seven and Jesus came and touched them, and said, Arise, and be not afraid. Eight and when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man, save Jesus only. Nine, and as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man, until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. The kingdom wouldn't be set up until after the king is rejected, crucified, and ascends into heaven to sit in exile until his enemies be made his footstool. Psalm 110 verse 1 KJV The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Risen again from the dead, most Jews believed in the resurrection of the dead, but they didn't understand what Jesus meant when he said he would be risen from the dead. Lazarus was raised from the dead when Jesus called him by name in John 11 verse 43. If Jesus would have just said, come forth, then all in the graves would have been resurrected. Both Lazarus and Jesus were resurrected from the dead. All believing Israel will be a part of the resurrection of the dead. 10 and his disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elias must first come? 11 and Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. 12 But I say unto you, that Elias is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise, shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. 13 Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. Elias, Elijah, is still going to come and restore all things to Israel during the tribulation period. He will turn many Israelites back to God and he will preach the same message that John the Baptist preached. Matthew 3 verse 2 Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. John came in the spirit and power of Elijah, but Elijah himself will return during the tribulation period. Luke 1 verse 17 KJV And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. 14 And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him, and saying, 15 Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic, and sore vexed, for oft times he falleth into the fire, and oft into the water. 16 And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. 17 Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be? With you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. 18 And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. 19 Then came the disciples to Jesus apart, and said, Why could not we cast him out? 20 And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. 21 Howbeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Jesus regularly prayed and fasted, and the apostles did not, and for that reason they could not cast out the stronger type of devil. The children of the bride chamber were not too fast while the bridegroom was with them. Matthew 9 verse 14 22 And while they abode in Galilee, Jesus said unto them, The Son of Man shall be betrayed into the hands of men, 23 And they shall kill him, and the third day he shall be raised again. And they were exceeding sorry. Jesus intentionally hid that truth from their minds before they could fully grasp it, but allowed the lost to remember it long enough so they would place guards around his tomb. Luke 9 verses 44 to 45 KJV Let these sayings sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hands of men. 
But they understood not this saying, and it was hid from them, that they perceived it not, and they feared to ask him of that saying. They did not understand the gospel of the grace of God that Jesus had to do those things. They understood and preached the gospel of the kingdom that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God. 24 And when they were come to Capernaum, they that received tribute money came to Peter, and said, Doth not your master pay tribute? 25 He saith, Yes. And when he was come into the house, Jesus prevented him, saying, What thinkest thou, Simon? Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Of their own children, or of strangers? 26 Peter saith unto him, Of strangers. Jesus saith unto him, Then are the children free. 27 Notwithstanding, lest we should offend them, go thou to the sea, and cast an hook, and take up the fish that first cometh up, and when thou hast opened his mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money, that take, and give unto them for me and thee. If Israel would have been obedient to the covenant that they made with God at Mount Sinai, then Rome would have never been over them exacting taxes from them. Leviticus 26 verses 1 to 17 KJV Ye shall make you no idols nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land, to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. Ye shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary, I am the Lord. If ye walk in my statutes, and keep my commandments, and do them, then I will give you rain in due season, and the land shall yield her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. And your threshing shall reach unto the vintage, and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time, and ye shall eat your bread to the full, and dwell in your land safely. And I will give peace in the land, and ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid, and I will rid evil beasts out of the land, neither shall the sword go through your land. And ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase an hundred, and an hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. For I will have respect unto you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, and establish my covenant with you. And ye shall eat old store, and bring forth the old because of the new. And I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. And I will walk among you, and will be your God, and ye shall be my people. I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should not be their bondmen, and I have broken the bands of your yoke, and made you go upright. But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments, and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you, I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning ague, that shall consume the eyes, and cause sorrow of heart, and ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies, they that hate ye shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. Chapter 18 Tell it unto the church. One at the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Two and Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, three and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. For whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven, the future kingdom promised to Israel, which is set up after the seventieth week of Daniel ends. Daniel 2 verse 44 And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. Remember not to confuse the kingdom of heaven spoken of here with the actual dwelling place of God. Jesus is speaking about entering into a kingdom here on earth. The millennial kingdom will take place here on earth after the seven-year tribulation period, while the body of Christ is in heavenly places. Things will be done on earth as they are already being done in heaven in those days. That is why it is called the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 6 verse 10 Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth, as it is in heaven. 
Five and whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. Six but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Seven woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. Eight wherefore if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off, and cast them from thee, it is better for thee to enter into life halt or maimed, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into. Everlasting Fire 9. And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out, and cast it from thee, it is better for thee to enter into life with one eye, rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. We must remember it is entrance into the kingdom of heaven, and not heaven itself that is being spoken about here, when God's will shall be done on the earth. Their works will not guarantee their entrance into the kingdom, but a faith without works is dead as James teaches the twelve tribes of Israel that are scattered abroad. He is not speaking to us in the body of Christ. James 1 verse 1 KJV James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. 10 Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones, for I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. 11 For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. Their angels, Israel had angels watching over them as they did not have eternal security like we do today. People in the body of Christ today do not have guardian angels. Just because Israel has something given to them under their program does not mean that we have the same thing given to us today. Things that are different are not the same. 12. How think ye? If a man have an hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and goeth into the mountains, and seeketh that which is gone astray? 13. And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more of that sheep, than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. 14 Even so it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. Jesus is speaking about people's attitudes towards those who are lost in sin. They were not to despise the lost, but to share the gospel with them. 15 Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone, if he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. 16 But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. 17 And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church, but if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. 18 Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. 19 Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. 20 For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Here we have the second and last mention of the church in the four Gospels. Remember, the word church simply means a called out assembly. You can't tell anything to a church that doesn't already exist. There was a kingdom church set up by Jesus that was made up of the apostles and the little flock of Luke 12 verse 32. There was also a church in the wilderness mentioned by Stephen that was made up of those called out of Egypt to assemble in the wilderness with Moses. Acts 7 verse 38 This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spake to him in the Mount Sina, and with our fathers, who received the lively oracles to give unto us. There are different kinds of churches, called out assemblies, in the Bible. In Acts 19 verse 37 the pagan temples of Diana are referred to as churches by Luke because people assemble together. Acts 19 verse 37 For ye have brought hither these men, which are neither robbers of churches, nor yet blasphemers of your goddess. 21 Then came Peter to him, and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Till seven times? 22 Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee, until seven times, but, until seventy times seven. 
until 70 times 7, 7 times 70 totals 490, which is exactly how many years Israel did not keep the Sabbath rest for the land. So, God punished Israel by sending them into captivity for 70 years for her disobedience. Leviticus 26 verses 34 to 35 KJV Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbaths, as long as it leath desolate, and ye be in your enemy's land, even then shall the land rest and enjoy her Sabbaths. As long as it leath desolate it shall rest, because it did not rest in your Sabbaths, when ye dwelled upon it. 23 Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. 24 And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him ten thousand talents. 25 But forasmuch as he had not to pay, his lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife, and children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. 26 The servant therefore fell down, and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. 27 Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave him the debt. 28 But the same servant went out, and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him an hundred pence, and he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. 29 And his fellow servant fell down at his feet, and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. 30 And he would not but went and cast him into prison, till he should pay the debt. 31 So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry, and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. 32 Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt, because thou desiredst me. 33 Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? 34 And his Lord was wroth, and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. 35 So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not everyone his brother their trespasses. The kingdom of heaven, the future kingdom promised to Israel, which is set up after the seventieth week of Daniel ends. Daniel 2 verse 44 And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. There is coming a day when Christ's servants will be judged, and the books will be opened, and those who have been obedient to their king will be allowed access into the kingdom. Chapter 19 Keep the Commandments 1 And it came to pass, that when Jesus had finished these sayings, he departed from Galilee, and came into the coasts of Judea beyond Jordan. 2 And great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. 3 The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? Put away, to divorce. For and he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read, that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? 5 And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh? 6 Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. 7 They say unto him, why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement, and to put her away? 8 He saith unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts suffered you to put away your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. 9 And I say unto you, Whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery, and whoso marrieth her which is put away doth commit adultery. 10 His disciples say unto him, If the case of the man be so with his wife, it is not good to marry. 11 But he said unto them, All men cannot receive this saying, save they to whom it is given. 12 For there are some eunuchs, which were so born from their mother's womb, and there are some eunuchs, which were made eunuchs of men, and there be eunuchs, which have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. He that is able to receive it, let him receive it. It wasn't the subject of divorce that the Pharisees were interested in. They were doctors of the law, and they knew very well what Moses said. The Pharisees deviated from what Moses told the people by adding the words, for every cause. 
They made it look as if Jesus was speaking against Moses when he was actually stating the reason for Moses giving a writing of divorcement. It is God's intention that every marriage last and that no marriage end due to adultery. Had God not allowed the acceptance for adultery, then the innocent party would be trapped in a union that is not a union at all. Eunuchs of men, certain slaves were made eunuchs by their masters for different reasons. Eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake, we should not be making ourselves eunuchs for Israel's kingdom. It's not our kingdom. We are not trying to enter the kingdom of heaven today as members of the body of Christ. 13 Then were there brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them, and pray, and the disciples rebuked them. 14 But Jesus said, Suffer little children, and forbid them not, to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven, the future kingdom promised to Israel, which is set up after the 70th week of Daniel ends. Daniel 2 verse 44 And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. Just as in salvation, entrance into the kingdom is for those with childlike faith. A child doesn't have to have God's existence proven to them continually, they just believe and are accepted with God. 15 And he laid his hands on them and departed thence. 16 And, behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do, that I may have eternal life? 17 And he said unto him, Why chiaest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, God, but if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. What good thing shall I do, that I may have eternal life? Jesus' reply was, If thou wilt enter into life, eternal life in the kingdom, keep the commandments. We are not trying to enter into eternal life today because we are not trying to get into Israel's earthly kingdom. We go to heaven because we believe the gospel today, not by keeping the law. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4. 18 He saith unto him, Which? Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, 19 Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. 20 The young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up, what lack I yet? 21 Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. 22 But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. 23 Then said Jesus unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. 24 And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle, than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. 25 When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? 26 But Jesus beheld them, and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. If thou wilt be perfect, sell all that you have and give to the poor, and come follow me. It was not a requirement under the law to sell all that you had, nor is it a requirement under grace today. While the king was there, and the kingdom was at hand, it was a requirement for entrance into the kingdom. Since the kingdom is an eternal kingdom, a person wanting to live in it needed eternal life. Hence the question, what must I do to inherit eternal life? The kingdom of heaven, the future kingdom promised to Israel, which is set up after the 70th week of Daniel ends. Daniel 2 verse 44 And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. 27 Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all, and followed thee, what shall we have, therefore? 28 And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. 29 And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. 
30 but many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. In the regeneration, this is another way of mentioning the kingdom when the earth shall be regenerated. Acts 3 verses 19 to 21 KJV Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, the qualification to be an apostle was that you had to follow Jesus since the baptism of John and also be a witness of the resurrection. Acts 1 verse 22 KJV Beginning from the baptism of John unto that same day that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection. Paul was not qualified to be one of the twelve. He was qualified to be the apostle of the Gentiles. Romans 11 verse 13 KJV For I speak to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. Verse 1 of chapter 20 is a parable of the kingdom used to further explain the end of chapter 19.